back to my channel. So for today's reading, we're going to look into the energy of Haley Bailey and DDG and the whole situation surrounding Ruby Rose. So we're just going to start with like, why is this happening? So let's get into it. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Show us why this is currently happening. Show us the energy around Haley Bailey and Gerald Granberry. Show us the energy surrounding Haley Bailey and Daryl Granberry Jr. Thank you so much. Show us the energy, Holy Spirit. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Thank you so much. Show us this energy. Why is this happening at this time? Why is this happening? All right, so... <clears throat> This was like this. So listen, we have the Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and Queen of Wands. Okay, there's definitely some instability in the relationship right now, um, especially with this Two of Cups in reverse. Like given the situation that's currently happening right now, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if something similar has happened in the past with this three of swords, because I don't feel like this is the first time that something like this has happened for this couple. Okay. And I feel like this is happening. The why as to why this is happening now is because of Haley. Remember correctly, Haley is an Aries. Okay. So this queen of wands could speak to some of that energy where she is really stepping into a very confident era for herself. We have the Little Mermaid that is premiering this year. So it's literally about to change her whole life. Like this opportunity that she has coming in with this movie release is literally going to put her in a queen status. It's literally going to put her in this radiant energy where a lot of people are going to be drawn to her. A lot of people are going to be wanting to see her, to talk to her, to interview her, to have some sort of dialogue with her in some sort of way because she is stepping into um, this role as Little Mermaid. I feel like there's going to be a lot of great things that begin to happen for her when this movie releases and i feel like like with this seven of cups as well this is honestly i kind of feel like especially since it's here in reverse like and and with this two of cups it's almost like the relationship some someone wants or is considering more options this is what i'm hearing okay let me slow down this is what i'm hearing it's like Someone may want to entertain options, okay? This could be DDG's energy. So with this Two of Cups and um, Seven of Cups, it's illusion energy where it's like, I believe... I believe they had good intentions for their relationship. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel, whether y'all wanna hear it or not, okay? Because I feel like with this reading, it's like... I feel like some people are expecting a certain response to the questions I ask, but I'm going to tell you what it is. DDG and Haley Bailey do not need to be together, okay? DDG is nowhere on Haley Bailey's level, okay? I have to say it because I'm getting a little frustrated in this reading, and I feel like it's because... I feel like people see them as a great couple. However, just because they look good together, you know, just because they smile in pictures and, you know, seem like they're having a good time and at Beyonce's event that everything is all good. And we see now that everything is not what it seems to be. And like I said, I do not believe this is not the first time something has happened in their relationship where it's like a pain in the heart, okay? Heart pain for both of them, okay? For both of them. So I feel like they've been in this illusionary energy as a couple, you know, opening up these cups or drinking from these cups, hoping for something to change or hoping for some sort of resolve in their relationship or hoping that, um, you know, things will start to make sense and they won't and they'll be in this upright energy. But with with these cards, it's in reverse, which means 
someone is not happy and someone is looking and entertaining other options, other cups, you know, other, someone's not emotionally fulfilled. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment in the relationship. Okay. And like I said, this is happening simply because Haley Bailey has a lot of financial opportunities that are coming her way. And there's a lot of doors that are opening for her as this queen of wands energy as well. Okay. So that's kind of the why of the situation. Let's just see if we can get a little more into what is their overall energy at this time? What is the overall relationship energy for Haley and DDG at this time? Where do things stand between them? We have the five of cups in reverse. Rejection, disappointment. Where do things stand between them? This is the card of forgiveness, judgment, awakening. Where do things stand for them at this time? Honestly, things... I mean, they're saying... You know, I heard people saying that um, Haley is standing by him, but I don't know how long that's going to last, okay? With this five here, this could be five days, five weeks, five months from now. I definitely feel like there's an aspect of forgiveness or trying to seek the higher route or seek, you know, take the um, higher level approach to this situation. But at the same time, I feel as though... Um, they are both stuck in their thoughts. I feel I feel like this is this is one of those things. This is what I'm feeling. It's like they both know within themselves that they won't be together forever, but they are like delaying the inevitable because I do feel like they care about each other. I do feel like there is a certain level of love and respect for one another. However, they're not they're just not right for each other. They're not on the same wavelength as they once thought they were, okay? Emperor's card is interesting as well. This could just speak to the fact that I'm hearing a couple of things. Like, they could be talking to someone about this, like someone who has this Empress energy, someone who's very nurturing and caring, or this could speak to possibly Haley's energy where she has always been. And I feel like she is one who is naturally nurturing and caring and, you know, takes the time to listen and be attentive to what the other person is thinking or what the other person is feeling and just what's going on in general. Again, taking the higher level approach or having that higher level understanding, um, taking like the God route, okay? Taking like the God route where you sit and you listen and you discuss and you try to understand what this person may be feeling and thinking and doing so you know how to move forward, okay? But at the same time, I feel like, this Eight of Swords speaks to the fact that they are both mentally stuck in something and it feels like they're stuck in the fact that neither one of them has like the strength, okay, to really step forward and be like, yo, maybe this is not going to work, okay? Maybe this isn't exactly um, what we need right now or um, yeah, just what we need right now, okay? So that's just where they stand now. Let me just ask, honestly, Haley Bailey needs someone like Michael B. Jordan. That's literally the level that this young lady is on at this time. Like, this stuff that she's going through with DDG is honestly what I feel like a, a spiritual form of protection, kind of like that Empress energy. That Empress energy could be like a spiritual... Um, figure okay an ancestor of some sort who is protecting Haley from anything that could happen down the line you know what do they say like rejection is just God's protection she doesn't need none of this stuff when she's about to have this little mermaid premiere and naturally whenever you start to level up whenever you start to gain more momentum whenever you start to increase in your spiritual journey Whenever people start to notice you in ways they didn't see you before, the devil does try to come in to throw, throw things in disarray, okay? Um, create chaos and create destruction. 
However, I feel like some of what is happening is valid and true. Despite, you know, Haley, of course, she's standing by DDG, but she's not married to this man, okay? She don't have to stand for none of this. This is her boyfriend, okay? she This young lady is 22 years old. She got her whole life ahead of her. She does not need to stand by DDG in this situation when clearly there is something that is a, true about this situation, Let's ask the cards, like, what is the real energy between DDG and Ruby Rose, okay? What is the real energy? What is the energy surrounding DDG and Ruby Rose? Thank you so much. What is their energy, Holy Spirit? A back and forth, okay? A back and forth, third party type of situation. Show me, show me some more, Holy Spirit. What is the situation with... DDG and Ruby Rose. What is the situation between DDG and Ruby Rose? The Hierophant here. Thank you so much. Ooh. Look, and Tower. Didn't I just say the creating chaos? They have a very chaotic situation or relationship. They just go back and forth, okay? This Tower card here is the fact that this situation now could potentially change a lot of things for both of them. And I also feel like with this Hierophant here, this is a huge lesson for both of them as well. This isn't a good look for them, okay? Holy Spirit, show me one last card. I feel like I need to pull one last card. Why is this not a good situation for both of them? Why is this not a good situation for both of them? Page of Wands, because it might block some opportunities. Or there's someone who potentially wanted to work with either DDG or Ruby Rose. Um, someone who was really interested in them. But I feel like this situation or the exposure or just the back and forth has kind of put this person to kind of take some step back. Take a few steps back to be like, I don't know if you know, extending this wand or offering this wand is the best thing for this person right now um, in light of some of the things that are happening. But their energy feels very chaotic, very back and forth that they continue to, it gives me almost, even though the wheel is in here, but it gives me like cycle energy where it's like, there's a lesson that perhaps DDG and Ruby Rose have not learned yet as it relates to their relationship. This could be why there's this back and forth juggling energy, this instability of understanding where they stand with one another. And again, like with this three of pentacles, it's kind of like a third party situation. I feel as though there's also an individual who's possibly speaks about either this is what i'm seeing okay either someone is speaking to ddg about ruby rose like oh i heard she said this i heard she said that or someone is speaking to ruby rose about ddg like oh i heard you know he going through it with Haley. Da, 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 da. like something like that there is someone here who's kind of running their mouths and saying things they probably shouldn't that's causing this chaos i, I just see someone who's saying Someone who has their hand in the pot and is just stirring the pot to cause this chaos, cause this drama. Um, but this is also something I feel like DDG knows that he is doing, okay? Energetically, he has been feeding into some of this as well, okay? Let's just ask the cards, how does Haley feel about DDG, okay? How does Haley feel about DDG. Thank you so much. How does Haley feel about DDG? Thank you so much. The Emperor. This is her energy, the Aries. How does Haley feel about DDG? How does Haley? Page of Pentacles. A lot of page. You know what this reminds me of? Let me pull one more. And then we got the five of wands in reverse. The page of cups and the page of pentacles makes it feel like she sees potential in him. She sees someone who could potentially be stable or be strong or be able to really lay a foundation. However, with this five of wands in reverse, it's like 
there's too much chaotic energy from outside parties. Let's clarify this to be sure. Holy Spirit, clarify this Five of Wands for us, please. Thank you so much. Clarification for this Five of Wands. Why is this Five of Wands here? Yeah, see the Queen of Wands. Like I said, she sees potential in him. However, I feel like there's so many outside forces and factors and situations and battles that are happening that I feel like she questions if she can confidently continue um, to move forward with this young man, okay? And there's also something here with five. So again, five days, five weeks, five months, okay? Um, but she sees the potential. I feel like she also sees the growth, growth in him as well because the page is like, you know, seeing the opportunity, seeing the potential, understanding, you know, at a base level, what someone has to offer and then what they need to do to get to like the queen of cup status or get to the king of cup status and vice versa. But Haley is already this queen of wands, y'all. She's already in that energy. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Chloe is the new Beyonce. I really truly feel like Haley is the new Beyonce in a sense. The energy that's going to surround her and uplift her with this little mermaid energy, I feel like there's something here with her voice. And we know the little mermaid to be that siren, you know, where it's almost like that spell, that sound. I literally feel as though her voice and the music and the energy of that movie is going to carry all of us it literally into a different world. Isn't that what the Little Mermaid is? A whole new world. Or wait, is that Aladdin? That might be Aladdin. However, okay, I definitely think that's Aladdin. However, I do feel like her voice is going to be a vibration that we need, okay? I feel like musically right now, everyone kind of sounds the same. Nothing really sounds different. Nothing is really like peaking our interest in the sense where it's like, wow, like I really needed to hear that or that song really did something to me. And this is just what I feel. Okay. Some of you guys may feel this. Some of you may not, but I feel like musically we need something that's going to like change the trajectory of music in a way that it's like, we just really needed this right now. And I feel like the Little Mermaid and Haley's voice and just her presence and her energy is going to be exactly what we need to, um, to feel good, you know, feel like this Queen of Wands, feel confident and just happiness all around, okay? Um, like I said, she sees the potential in this young man. But I also feel like she knows they could possibly be on different levels. He has some things. Let me just see. Let's ask the cards. How does DDG feel about Haley? How does DDG feel about Haley? We have the Hermit card coming out. How does DDG feel about Haley? Okay, Two of Wands, the Hangman. Honestly, I feel like he's almost undecided. Look at this. Two of swords and two of wands with the hangman and the hermit. It's almost like he keeps some of his feelings tucked away or keeps how he really feels about her tucked away because there's something here that he is avoiding. The hangman energy here is like he wants to surrender to it, but at the same time, it's risky for him to either share how he feels or express how he feels as it relates to Haley. Clarification for this Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here? What does this mean? Okay, this is just coming out. Then we have the Queen's Queen of Swords energy. There's something he's not saying to her, y'all. Okay, there's something he's not saying or communicating to her in some sort of way. Clarification for this Two of Wands. Clarification for this Two of Wands. Thank you so much. 
And see, we have the tower. Mm -hmm. There's something he's not saying because it is going to cause or create some chaos. It's going to cause a change in their relationship. And he knows this. This is kind of what I was saying. Like, it's avoiding the inevitable. It's like when you know... Like when you've been in a relationship with someone and you can tell things have changed between you and this person, but you're still trying to hold on, you know what I'm saying? You're still trying to um, not let go of the relationship that you have with this person, but deep down inside, you can already tell and feel like it's not going to last, like this is the end, but you're kind of going to keep playing around with it and forcing it and hoping that it changes. This is how DDG feels about Haley. I don't think he's always been able to effectively communicate his feelings. And I feel like he kind of keeps how he feels in this Herman energy as it relates to her and maybe some other people that he's been in a relationship with. But he's avoiding the inevitable because he does not want to let go of her. He does not want to let go. And he knows if he does, you know, it, he's going to have to change as well. He's going to have to really change, okay? Okay. He's going to have to do some work and address some areas that he hasn't addressed, areas that he's kept in this Herman energy, relationships that he's kept in this Herman er energy when he's needed to speak on it. He needs therapy in some sort of way. I'm not sure the history of this young man, um, or I know that he has a YouTube channel and he has some other things, but he definitely does not seem like the type at least from what I'm feeling in this energy where he adequately expresses himself in a way that is the most healthiest like there's some sort of resistance or inability to say certain things he says things that sound good to others but to himself it doesn't he's not saying true to himself in certain ways and I feel like these cards are showing that there's something that he's not saying and communicate he needs to speak the truth he needs to break through that mold and express himself in a way that is going to make him feel better Okay, make him feel better. Like, I feel like he does think about things in a very logical way. But again, if it kind of contradicts the outside world or contradicts like, you know, what others are doing or thinking, he's not going to say it. he's going to keep it kind of tucked away in this Herman energy. And again, like I said, he has something to say, but he is not ready to take a risk and step forward and say or uh, really share what this is about. There's changes that he needs to make. There's a lot of chaos around him right now. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if there's someone else that comes out and says something, or like I said before, where it kind of feels third party-ish, where someone is speaking to him about Haley, or someone is speaking um, about DDG to other people. Like someone knows a little bit into the relationship and their situation and people are talking, okay? Um, um, you know what I want to ask? Let's just ask one last question. Show us the energy surrounding the Little Mermaid release, okay? Show us the energy surrounding the Little Mermaid release. Thank you. Thank you so much. Show us the energy surrounding the Little Mermaid release. We got this tower card coming out again, but this time it's in reverse. Whoops. Let's see, Queen of Wands. We know this is Haley's energy because this keeps coming out strength. There are some people going to have some things to say about this movie. But it's not going to change the fact that Haley is definitely going to be very successful in this role. She's going to have to overcome a lot of resistance from other people, other... Um, other people and other situations that are coming to kind of bring her down as she hits this level of stardom with the little mermaid show us some more what is the energy surrounding the little mermaid release yeah the magician card as well i want to be surprised look this is a long-standing manifestation something i kind of almost feel like um like, what? We haven't had a Little Mermaid movie since, what, the 90s? So this has been a long time coming, a long standing manifestation. And the last card we have, and then we have the Hierophant again. Interesting. 
that higher level energy. There's something that's going to be learned. There's something that's really going to elevate us with this movie as well. And this is kind of what I was saying before when it comes to her music and her voice and her energy. There's going to be something mesmerizing about this movie, mesmerizing about the, her voice. Okay, but this tower card here as well, it's like there could be some people who have some things to say, or it could just be, or this could just be telling us that whatever people said before, they're going to have a change of heart with this tower moment. They're going to see and understand that all that chaos they created, you know, saying all this stuff was of no use, okay? Because this tower card here in reverse is going to be like, this is actually a movie that we need it right now. This is actually the change that we need it right now. And it's going to really require Haley to continue to be strong, continue to be brave and courageous with this movie and with this film. She's walking into a different light, okay? She's walking into a different level of abundance okay and there's a lot of opportunities look how there's two infinity symbols on both of the, these cards this is like the infinite possibilities that are going to start to be created for her in light of this little mermaid release okay infinite possibilities infinite opportunities and the hierophant here as well is like this is going to be a teaching moment or this is going to be a moment of like history and change and just elevation again there's something here with five that is really really present i'm not sure if this movie is being released in may um but again there's going to be a lot of great things this could also mean this could be like the top movie for like five weeks or like five months or something along those lines with the hierophant here um, but I feel like this is going to be very, very successful um, and something that we all need and that we will all appreciate with this film, okay? So let me know what you guys think about this reading and this energy. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.